Make sure to put on the Starfarer shit from the last Donny you Donning Spirit. Donning Sprint while you get ingredients. All right, I'm gonna go give Zavala a little kiss on his bald forehead. Is this gonna be running back to Eva Simulator? Receive a boon of friendship each day. Did I just get friend zoned by Eva Levante? She got an Elixney sugar daddy now? I guess so, dude. I'm not needed. This was shot in front of a live studio audience at twitch.tv slash sweatsicle. Where would they put a data pad? A data pad would be on a wall by a building. This is where it would normally be, unless somebody dropped it out of their back pocket. Found my iPad, guys. It's right there. Pathfinder's Crash Law Sector. Now, which one of those is that? Dude! Do swords... What? Am I just used the eager edge now? It feels like my sword isn't lunging anywhere. It's like, one thing that people don't realize about this game is like legitimately just playing passive activities like strikes and not spending your shards every time you get them, you're just gonna gather a lot over time anyways. The only way you can really get a lot of legendary shards is just by playtime. You're not gonna just, you're not gonna get 40,000 shards within 10 minutes. Snowball stasis. If I get hit by a snowball in PVP, I'm gonna lose it. Is the cold front good? It used to be, I don't know if it's good now. Boon of friendship consumable and equipping the fully upgraded Starfarer. All right chat, where's this ship at? Grants the chance to get dawning spirit whenever you get a dawning ingredient. So what should I do? Just sit in the Shattered Throne and kill about 8 million Thrall to do all this or what? Is that what people are doing? Hasn't the Thrall way broken this event for like three years now? Like, how have they not patched this yet? That's what I don't understand. Because they already have all the silver. I like how they just don't push when I throw the Nova. How many do I need to max the other things? Do I, I think I need like 100, right? Because the last one alone was like 40. I'm trying to farm Dawning Spirit first. Uh-oh. Yeah, Devour sucks, Weedo. I think it needs to be buffed. Can you imagine if they actually buff it? Well, they kind of are. The Void 3.0 change is going to make it so you can have Devour with, like, other different perks now. Almost died. Devour equals bad. Dude, every sword that's not Eager Edge now just literally feels like a wimp dick swing, man, I swear. Traded. Wait, I could just use Wither Horde. Why the fuck am I throwing my nade? Wait, do I get do I get a, a different ingredient for getting kills with my nade? Should I get Null Taste on Void? I'm just gonna upload 10 minutes of this in the morning. Isn't this highly thrilling gameplay, you guys? Isn't this sick? All right, how many are we at? Again, how many do we need? I have 78. I don't know how many I need though. I need 260 for all upgrades. Well, I'm not worried about the snowball ones because those ones don't really do anything, do they? I hate that this is the most efficient way to do this, man. I really wish I didn't have to sit in here. It's been like this for three years. Like I can understand two years, but like, dude, they know this is a thing, man. I know that they know this is a thing. Like, come on, Bungie, let's... Let's incentivize people to... As much as I hate playing old strikes for years at a time, I would I would literally rather grind, grind strikes for like... three days than sit and do this. Am I watching exactly? I'm farming cookie ingredients. I'm about to open a cookie shop. Dude, do you guys think they'll ever add creator codes for Eververse? That would be such a significant, like, boost to me being able to do more of the giveaways that I want to do. Like the higher end ones, I feel like. What do I do with a cosmic sugar cube? Uh, stick it in Eva's cosmic butthole. I, I, bro, I have no idea. All right, uh, Wrathborn hunts it is, I guess. Okay, so how does this work, boys? First boss, just run it a thousand times. All right. Do I have to put in my lure to chat? Or does he just do it? Wait, so Spencer, you just stay outside and this still works? Oh, dude, this is free. All right, wait, so do we, can't you just start it again? Or do you, okay, yeah. I was like, we don't have to go back, do we? What the fuck? Literally, the first boss on the lure is what Spencer activated it because he's the fire team leader. He sits outside and doesn't move. He doesn't come inside because if he touches the boss, it will take away his lure charge. So what happens is the other person or, or other two people come in here. And we just killed the boss, and he still remain. He still has that lure activated because he didn't touch the boss. 
but he still gets the essence. So you can just literally infinitely farm this boss. That's it. I've heard master loss sectors are good too, but I'm pretty sure this is the most efficient and like easiest way. Any way to do solo? That's awkward. I just tested a loss sector, it only gave eight. Did you do the master one or the regular one? Chat said you had to do the master one, I think. That is one thing that's always bugged me and I don't know how to fix that. Like sometimes when I pull out my Sparrow, it pulls up this fucking menu too and it won't allow me to boost. Is there any good incentive to participate in donning? A shit ton of legendary shards. I gotta know how you get legendary shards from this. You get a shit ton of cookie ingredients and then you just turn it into cookies. That's it. It's literally just playing the event, man. But just like the more optimal you do it, the faster you're gonna get your legendary shards. The person who stays outside during the Wrathborn still get the essence? Yes. You want the honest and true stream advice, brother? Don't waste your time starting on Twitch. Go build a following on TikTok or YouTube and then bring them over. Because getting off the one viewer list, especially in Destiny, is, uh, it's a challenge. That's the, that's one of the biggest hurdles to do. Usually, the, one of the best things you can do is have, like, your friends or family keep a tab open for you. But, dude, like, I'm, I'm, like, just being brutally honest, like, you won't really make it anywhere. Realistically speaking, odds-wise, unless you bring people over from another platform. Twitch is like a party. If you don't invite anybody to your party, nobody's gonna show up. Like, you could have that random guy that's, like, walking around your your block for some reason that just kind of walks through your front door when he smells pizza. It, that's just what it is. It is, it, bro, you better be ready to, like, grind until your eyes bleed type of thing, dude. The next biggest thing is, like, consistency. If you're not consistent, it's, again, like, that party aspect. If you're, if you're throwing a party every Friday night, literally 52 weeks out of the year, People are gonna know where to catch you every Friday. This is no different. People know that I'll be streaming every day around a certain time range and like literally as soon as I start stream, I see the same faces every single time. Of course you got new people hopping in every day and whatnot because not everybody can make it to every party, but that's the only thing I forgot to mention. One of the most important things is like either on Twitch, you either have to be funny or really good at the game or a mixture of both. I, I don't know, uh, to be honest, I don't know where I fall. I don't think I'm either of those things, but I I, I still, I, bro, I show up because you guys show up. So <laughs> for whatever reason you guys show up, I'll be here, dude. You're hot? Well, that too, you could just be the sexiest motherfucker on the planet, but oh damn. Wait, you can get reservoir burst on this now? Is that new? You got liquid too. That's nice. The reservoir burst is like the best on fusions, right? Best perk in that slot. Dude, subsistence is overrated. I'll be the one to say it, man. Pairs very well with reservoir burst. Wait. Hold, okay, let me ask this before I. If you get a kill with the reservoir burst in subsistence procs, does it allow you to hit reservoir burst again? Oh, okay, that's busted. That's the one gun it's good on then. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Oh.